Turkish Aerospace Industries General Manager Prof. Dr. Temel Kodal made important statements. Kodal announced for the first time its new customer in the export of Herkus HYU, which was developed within the scope of the new generation basic trainer aircraft project. In his speech, Kodal stated that Herkus HYU will be delivered to the Turkish Air Force in the coming days and that after the sale of two units to Niger, they were also sold to Chad. While Chad is Herkus's new destination for exports, the training of Niger pilots continues. At the beginning of this year, Turkish Aerospace Industries, TUSA, General Manager Prof. Dr. Temel Kodal stated that two Herkus aircraft will be exported to Niger and announced that contacts are continuing for the export of 18 Herjit aircraft from Malaysia. As will be remembered, in the statement made by the Presidency of Communications, President Erdogan had a telephone conversation with President of Niger, Mohamed Bazem. During the meeting, President Erdogan stated that Niger would procure Barakter TB2, Herku and various armored vehicles from Turkey. With the statement made by Kodal, the number of systems to be exported was determined. Turkish Aerospace Industries continues its Herkus development studies in order to meet the basic and advanced new generation turboprop trainer aircraft needs of the Air Force Command. Herkus, the first civilian certified aircraft of our country, issued by the European Aviation Safety Agency, EASA, completed the type certificate studies for its military new variant, Herkus HYU, in recent months. Thus, Herkus achieved the success of publishing its own document for the first time, like military aviation companies. The Herkus project, which was initiated under the responsibility of the Defense Industry Executive Committee, SSK, and the Defense Industry Presidency, continues to develop itself with the support of the Turkish Air Force Command. While defining the type certificate, the document indicating the completion of all relevant activities within the scope of certification studies, a total of 1,138 requirements were completed, including 540 flight hours and thousands of hours of ground and laboratory tests.